and um, other sweet themed bath and body products that are vegan and free of most um, chemicals found in a lot of uh, bath and body products. And I've been doing that since um, December of 2010. That's, a, that's at least when I've been selling them. Um, but my but Poor and Pretty was a blog um, before that, starting in 2009. In like early 2010, um, I was actually sell selling Avon products and I was really awful at it. Um, mostly because I don't think I really believed in the brand or um, kind of trusted the products that I was selling because on the labels there were all these ingredients that were very long chemical names that I couldn't pronounce, didn't know what they were, so I started doing a lot of research and um, realized that it was a lot of stuff that was really bad for our skin and for our bodies, um, stuff that had been linked to skin cancers, um, all kinds of um, like even birth defects and you know all kinds of skin irritations things like that so I started making my own soaps and lotions and um, body scrubs and that type of thing um, and around the same time I was also um, getting really into baking and eating cupcakes that was sort of when the cupcake frenzy was happening so I kind of combined those two things and um, my first product was cupcake soaps um, and then from there I added on um, miniature bath bombs which I call bath truffles um, and then I have a uh, vegan lip balm, so it's made with, um, with uh, candelilla wax instead of uh, beeswax. And um, then I have a solid lotion stick and a jar of whipped soap that I call a jar of frosting. I, don't, I wouldn't say that I really emulate any of their products, um, but I definitely draw inspiration from that. Um, and just from bakeries, from sweets that I like to eat. Again, like that's where the whole cupcake soap thing came from. Um, I really like taking baths, so I, you know, that's where I knew I had to do some kind of bath bomb type thing. Um, and basically, the way that they're packaged is I put them in a box of four, and they they look like a box of like truffles that you would buy, you know, at a chocolate store or a candy store. So. Um, yeah, I mean, just really stuff that I like, stuff that my friends like, um, you know, things that are popular in bakeries, things like that. Right now what I'm doing is I sell online through Etsy and then I also sell at a, a few boutiques in Connecticut. I also have my stuff at um, a cupcake shop, uh, Nora Cupcake Company in Middletown. So um, I don't know if I would want to continue doing that or um, who knows, maybe even someday I'll open up my own bakery when I actually, you know, start baking cupcakes that you can eat um, and, you know, maybe have a bakery alongside my soap products. I'm not really sure yet, so I'm still thinking about that. Still on the fence. But you can visit my blog. It's poorandpretty.com, P-O-O-R-A-N-D-P-R-E-T-T-Y.com. Um, and that's where, you know, I have, I post about three times a week and, you know, from things ranging from my wacky sense of fashion to um, local you know, food, um, bakeries, things like that, to um, sustainability and DIY projects. All that kind of stuff is on my blog. You can also find out more about my products and myself there as well. Um, and you can shop for my products on Etsy. Um, it's poorandpretty.etsy.com. My name is Sammy Jo Jensen of Poor and Pretty, and I'm a raw artist.